Keeping them honest every night. AC 360. CNN. Weeknights 10 Eastern. We want to take a look at what a no-fly zone might look like uh, for uh, uh, troops on the ground in Libya and forces all throughout. Let's go to John King at the Magic Wall. John. Anderson, the big question after the dramatic vote at the United Nations Security Council is, what next? Here's another question. Is it too late? Is it too late? I raise that because if you look back into late February, see the green cities? These are under opposition control. Now, this update, as Gaddafi forces have moved against trying to crush the opposition, you see the government, the regime, has taken control of much more of the vital cities along the northern coast. Opposition still centered here in the east, though. So as we watch this play out, what exactly would a no-fly zone mean? Well, where could the initial strikes come from? If there are cruise missile strikes, they could come from U.S. military vessels already in the Mediterranean Sea, some NATO assets in the area as well. Any no-fly zone could be enforced from NATO air bases up in Italy, although the administration has been adamant that it wants Arab nations to be involved as well. Egypt has an air force. The United Arab Emirates, Qatar, has an air force as well. The main concern and one of the reasons Secretary Gates has been so cautious is he believes you would have to take out all of these Libyan military installations, deny the Libyan air force the ability to fly. Perhaps you could crater the runways. That would at least temporarily stop those flights. But the issue in the early hours of any no-fly zone would be Qaddafi's significant surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft systems, again, located here along the strategic north coast. These purple circles, longer-range surface-to-air missiles that would imperil any pilots in a no-fly zone. These smaller circles are more localized around the major cities here. Secretary Gates and others warning that if you have a no-fly zone in the early hours... These would be the greatest risk to any pilot. So flip the equation this way. In the early hours, if there are strikes, look for the targets to be right along here, the surface-to-air missiles, anti-aircraft facilities, as well as the northern Libyan airstrips that have been used in the strikes against the rebels. Anderson?